Now this backing fabric is silky minky. It's beautiful. I don't think you'll be able to imagine how yummy it feels when you touch it. Um, I'm going to open it up. It's 60 inch wide. And there's something that I want to point out about using minky. All right, so let's look at this. When I pull on the minky, there's no stretch going left to right. There is stretch going top to bottom from the way I'm standing. So the salvages are still on the backing. And when I'm thinking about how I want to load this on the long arm, so the way that I approach minky, some flannels, some fleece, sometimes you have an extra amount of stretch. And I like to keep that extra amount of stretch going parallel to my rollers on my long arm. I have the most stretch this direction, least amount of stretch this direction. So I want to put my zippers on this edge and on the opposite edge. That means that when I have the quilt on the quilt frame, I'm not going to stretch the fabric in this direction. Now, yes, I could stretch the fabric in this direction, and that will be when we talk about how taut your side clamp should be when you are quilting. So just keep in mind, if you have things stretched so tight and it's a stretchable fabric, when you remove your quilt, you're going to have the rubber band effect. Boing! It's going to jump in, and that's going to put ripples and crinkles in your fabric that were not there when you had it on the frame because the frame kept the fabric taut. So we're going to make sure with this minky that we do not allow ourselves to put too much stretch roller to roller. And when we have the side clamps on, we don't want to pull and create that rubber band effect. Look how nice that's going around the roller couldn't be any better. I'm not putting too much tension on this as it's coming towards me. I'm just keeping it nice and straight. The zipper will end up in front of the leveler bar. The leveler bar is the one that doesn't have a leader on it. So I have the backing loaded. I have the batting laying on top of the backing, but it's not secured. Minky's very slippery, so we are going to do some additional work to stabilize the batting onto the minky. But before I do that, I want to talk to you about the side clamps. So my side clamps will need to be adjusted. So I'm going to give them just a little bit of straightening and a little bit of straightening. I'm going to do that on both sides. Now here's the thing that will help me determine if I'm overstretching. When I lift this up, it does not snap back. So I'm not distorting my back. I'm stabilizing it. And that is a good way to check. If you release your side clamp and it lurches because you had it too tight, then you're going to know that that was too tight. Also, my roller front to back, the fabric that I have attached to my zippers, I have the most stable, the non-stretchy going from roller to roller. So the minky is not being distorted right now. And I'm gonna make sure that as I advance through this quilt that I don't let that happen. Next thing I'm going to do is put my side clamps on the right side and I'm going to baste my batting to the minky because it is like super slippery right now. So this is something that I do with minky that I do not do with other backings, but you might like this idea for all the time. I did large basting stitches holding that batting into place because the this the back the back side of the minky is super slippery and i found that the batting where normally it has a velcro effect when you put it on the back of minky it just slips and slides so i went ahead and basted the batting to the minky backing so that's another little tip just keeps everything from running away when you're trying to work on it i've turned on intelliquilter and i'm using my channel lock 
I put the IntelliQuilter in manual mode. That gave me access to the channel locks. I have the horizontal lock on right now, and I'm going to travel across the top doing basting stitches. I'm using my left hand to keep the fabric stable as I'm pulling the machine towards me. The vertical channel lock is keeping me straight on the edge. It's going to be really nice. The quilt top is basted. Everybody's behaving really well. This is going to be a fun quilt to quilt. I have the vertical lock off, big swoop, come back, take a single stitch, bring up the bobbin, bring up the bobbin, and cut my threads. Okay, so let's start designing now. Okay, dragonfly it is, and I like it at the scale. It's going to have a sculptured look on the back of the quilt. I'm going to zoom full, make sure there isn't anything I need to do with the gap. The gap looks perfectly fine. So I'm going to say finished. Let's see what the back looks like. Oh yeah, gorgeous.